parents. Other things they really did right. Other things they were really spot on. My parents, they're very liberal and open-minded. They were like they were proper hippies, like genuinely hippies. Wendy in particular, uh, she wanted me to have all the facts of life very young. Great impulse, um, but I was so young. And um, I remember vividly when she told me about sex and I was five years old, a small five, and uh, she sat me down. I remember how the light was in the room. Like it must have been impactful, I think. She had di diagrams. Uh, I remember her saying, and, and they were hand, hand drawn. Like surely get a book out of the library. But no, Wendy had spent the day sketching. And um, I remember her saying, this is how a man and a woman have sex. This is how a man and a man have sex and a woman and a woman. Like she covered all the bases. In the same conversation, she told me there's no Santa Claus. In one convo, it was too many facts of life. I was so depressed. Um, all the parents of my friends despised me. Like the first day of school, I ruined Christmas and told them what anal sex was. <laughs> And in that same conversation, uh, she told me what an orgasm is. Uh, I didn't need to know, but she was like, you got to have the facts. And the way she explained it was bizarre. It was so steeped in imagery and symbolism. I, I guess she was trying to help me understand it. And by the way, I have confirmed this with Wendy. I've been like, I have this memory. Did you say this thing about orgasms? And she's like, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and I stand by it. Um, what she said was, uh, when two people love each other and they're naked and they're hugging, they feel very happy. And then they feel increasingly content. And then she said, this is what she went with, they reach a moment of extreme happiness and an explosion of rainbows cascades across the sky. <laughs> That's what she went with, an explosion of rainbows. Like, imagine my disappointment. <laughs> I was livid. So pumped for it, and then just like, I thought I was doing it wrong. She didn't mention the crushing loneliness you feel right after. <laughs> Sometimes even when I'm by myself, I, I fake it. <laughs> it's true. I don't want to feel lonely after, so I'm like, oh, that was great. I'm just going to go pee. <laughs> just find something on Netflix. <laughs> Let me explain. Getting married is like a sprint. From the moment you decide you're the one, you're the one, we're spending our life together, oh my God, from there, it's a sprint to the finish line of the party, the wedding, whatever. Right? It's you, it's you, oh my God, yay! And then you have the party or the wedding and people are throwing rice on you or you're going on a fire for seven days, whatever your deal is. It's amazing, yay, that's a sprint. When you finish the sprint, everyone leaves, you and your partner holding hands, so excited. You look over there, you say, what's that? Huh, is that a marathon track? Yes, and that is called staying married. <laughs> this is getting married, that is staying married round and round and round and round. <laughs> The same track with the same person, and if you're doing it properly, it's forever. <laughs> Which was fine when they invented all these ideas because we all died at 34. <laughs> and now it's more than double. How do people look when they finish a sprint? You've watched so many races. People finishing a sprint are always pumped, yes? Always, they're like, hmm, ha, ha. How do people look when they are finishing a marathon? <laughs> The fundamental thing to notice about people finishing a marathon is they don't know how they are feeling themselves. <laughs> right? They come to that finish line, they're like... <laughs> <laughs> so, and some of these people are being taken to the corner and being wrapped in tin foil. <laughs> and others are running with their nipples are bleeding. What is this? And some of these people on the marathon have stopped in front of 10,000 spectators to take a shit. <laughs> Honestly, no self-respect left whatsoever. Just trying to get to the end somehow. I thought, I thought that you might like to hear. I mean, I'm not that good. You want to do yourself down? So um, I'll just grab the guitar. Monkey, can you grab the... Um... I've got the guitar. Can you grab the chair? What? You haven't thought this through. Can you get... <laughs> you just grab the... Put your head in there. What the f***? <laughs> there. Down to 
the middle. Wait, Nina, my neck. You're a pig. No, Nina. Ow! Oh, God, it's gone right up your skirt. I'm so... <laughs> Enjoy what you can at your age, Nina. Oh, shut up. So what are you... I can't get... <laughs> I can't... You've got to... <laughs> You're all right. Find the angle you came in at, Nina. I... <laughs> Can you not get out? No, I can't get out. Can you? No, Nina, this is awful. How? <laughs> what do you mean, how? My wrist! Oh, your wrist, my arse! OK, can you get... You're gonna... You have to fold... You have to fold your face. Fold my face? Yeah, fold your face. I'll just bunch it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, dear. Get the hair out my mouth. Jesus, what have you been doing? Nothing. Um, OK, so here we are. You ready? Yes, I think so. All right, so what, how do you want to start this? Or I'd like them to lower their expectations. <laughs> you want them to lower their expectations? OK, because I can't reach up there. Yeah, but I can help you, monkey. All right. I mean, I can polish it. Yeah, but why would you do that? Because I enjoy it. Monkey, can you stop polishing it? <laughs> Any tips for me, sir? <laughs> Monkey. Monkey, I didn't even ask about the boundaries. <laughs> Monkey! I mean, is it OK with an inanimate object? <laughs> no. Never, probably. OK, so, Monkey, tell everybody what this song is called. OK, this song is called My Face Hurts When I Play Guitar. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here we go. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Don't go. Don't go too hard. Don't go too hard. Just gentle, gentle. Yeah. It's amplified, isn't it? Yeah. So you don't have to strum the <laughs> out of it. No. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think we can do better. <laughs> My face hurts when I play guitar. <laughs> Every strong could leave a scar. <laughs> it's only slightly better than <laughs> when I play the drum <laughs> with my head. Oh, oh, ow, what was that? I'm sorry. Why does it sound so shit? Because I don't know, I'm having trouble holding the strings down. Your nails are too long. No, they're not. No, I'm telling you, on this hand, they're too long. <laughs> That was it, that was it. Thank you, that was my key song. <laughs> Thank you for watching Solo Theatre on YouTube. Subscribe now for more best comedy.